Hi guys, I'm Priyanka. I'm a software engineer at SAP Labs. And uh, this video is brought to you by Boscoder Academy. Today we have Prankur Gupta with us. Prankur works at Amazon and he is a mentor with Boscoder Academy. So let's welcome Prankur. Hi Prankur, how are you? Hi Pranka, I'm doing good. What about you? I'm doing good. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Yeah. So, Prankur, I have introduced a bit. Could, uh, so yeah. would you like to talk about yourself a bit more? Yeah, Pranka. So uh, let me start. So basically my journey started from a tier three college uh, named Guru Nanak Dev University. So in the last year of my graduation, I got PPO from TCS and I worked with TCS for two years as a backend developer. And okay. then I switched to Amazon. And like from last six months, I'm working as a SG1 at Amazon. Okay, that's great. So yeah. Pranko, like you joined, uh, I mean, Amazon six months back and uh, like you got college placement in TCS. What did inspire yeah. you to go to product-based companies? So what was yeah. your inspiration okay. behind that? Yeah, so when I was working in a service-based company, uh, there were few of my seniors who were working already in a product-based company. So in few of my conversations, I uh, like we were discussing and I got to know that how things goes in a product-based company. It's like, uh, what is the work culture? What is the kind of work environment there? And how uh, life cycle of a product goes in a product-based company? So it really inspired me that how much there is a difference between a service-based company and a product-based company. And apart from the work culture and the learning growth, I think uh, there are other factors like compensation. There is a huge gap between the compensation of a service-based company and a product-based company. And some people don't like to admit that part, but I think it is a crucial uh, part if you think in a long-term perspective, right? So these were the two major factors which really inspired me to get into a product-based company. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. So Prankur, we would like to know, like when you have decided to go for the product-based companies, so when did you start mm -hmm. your preparation and what all you did to join a product-based mm -hmm. company? Yeah. So basically my journey started last year in June, 2020, uh, basically in till June, 2020, till June, I was working uh, for TCS. And uh, then a thing came to my mind, as I said, I ins got inspired by how the things are in product-based companies. So from there onwards, I decided that I would like to uh, basically start my preparation for product-based companies. And it was not the first time I was doing uh, something to get into a product-based company. In my college days as well, I was uh, into DSA or problem solving, but I was not really that consistent, I would say. But this time I tried to avoid those mistakes which I made in my college. And I came this time I came up with a plan and a strategy that uh, I will be following to stay consistent and uh, keep staying to that plan helped me to uh, like reach where I am today. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's, that's really good. Uh, Prankur, I would like to know like when you started your preparation, what all skills you think is required when a fresh college grad or maybe one to two years of experienced people mm -hmm. or maybe more than mm -hmm. two years of experience people are applying for product companies mm -hmm. so what are the main skills which are required and how can we prepare for it okay so uh, when i started my journey i knew that i was one year of experience okay so for a fresher or anyone who is one year or two years of experience uh, majorly the product based companies will be focusing on or judging them the candidate based on their problem solving skills or data structures and algorithms okay so right. so i thought that if this is the mandatory thing to have to get into a product based company let's uh, start with that so i knew that there are other things as well like cs fundamentals uh, low level design or you can say uh, communication or presentation skills okay the deciding factor for your selection will be your problem solving skills right so I thought I will be putting first my 100% on my problem solving skills and then I will be uh, putting my extra time on other skills as well. Okay. So the first thing uh, I, I the first thing which I started was I created a plan that how much time I want to give to each data structure. There are a lot of data structures which we need to cover to uh, get into a product based company like there are hash, uh, hash maps, uh, arrays, linked list, stack, queues and there is a list will keep on going on. So I created a strategy that how much time I want to give to each data structure. Okay. And I try to follow that plan. So I gave myself a time of six months for preparation and I wanted to explore uh, the part of job hunt as well. Like I never tried off campus placement. So I wanted to explore that part that how it goes in the market. Like if I am applying to any product based companies, 
uh, whether my profile will get shortlist or not so i wanted to give uh, some part or some time to that thing as well so uh, from there onwards uh, after like along with my preparation i was also uh, applying to different pro- product based companies through different uh, mediums uh, yeah and i think from there onwards i try to stick to my plan and uh, keep following that plan okay yeah, yeah that's good uh, prankur yeah that's mm-hmm. really good so prankur when you were preparing you as you mentioned you had a time plan of 6 months what were your like what was your strategy when you were applying or when you were preparing for it so did you divide your time based on the um, whatever uh, topics you had or what was your strategy about that when you were preparing so yeah my strategy was that i will be picking one topic at a time i won't be uh, going into different uh, directions at the same time so mm-hmm. i picked one topic let's say arrays and i try to solve all the problems on arrays okay and once i am comfortable with all the problems on arrays or any other data structure which i am focusing on right now then only i will be moving to the other data structure okay this was my plan and uh, once so why it helped like why i was following this plan because in the college i was uh just solving random problems and i never able to relate different problems okay during my college days so i thought this time i will be just focusing one topic at a time and once i i am i will feel that i am comfortable enough only then i will be moving to the other topic because there is a certain pattern in different problems and to find those patterns i had to stick to only one topic at a time so that i can re- relate different problems so this was my strategy and uh, uh, once my whole curriculum was completed i thought that now it is a time that how i will be judging myself that whether i am comfortable enough in a topic or i am comfortable enough to crack any interview so uh, for that i started solving random problems once okay. oh, the, like i feel that my whole curriculum is completed then i started solving random problem on different platforms to gain some uh, confidence yeah this was my strategy basically Okay okay that's that's amazing prankur so prankur when you were done with your preparation uh, like when did you start applying for different product based companies and where all did you apply okay so i started applying in the 6 months of my uh, like when the 6 month of my preparation started i started applying into different product based companies and uh, the portals which i generally uh, used was career portal which is the uh, like Uh, it is one of the way to apply into these companies but the other portals which i explored was like nokri.com insta hire angel listing and linkedin so mm-hmm. i try to uh, utilize the most of these platforms and in the most efficient way possible so that uh, i can get most of the opportunities okay so prankur what were the different challenges what you have faced when you were applying for different product based companies like amazon microsoft google so have you faced any challenges when you were applying for these companies yeah pranka actually there were a lot of challenges i faced while applying into these companies as you know uh, that my background was i was from a tier 3 village and the second thing was i, I was working in a service based company right yeah. so whenever like i used to apply in, like if i thought if i'll be applying into 50 companies or 50 job applications in a single day I, at least i will be getting a single call but it was not happening with me so i i try to realize that what mistakes i am doing uh, where i am lacking so these things started coming to my mind and then i came to know about the ats tool which is applicant tracking system so i tried exploring that uh, tool that w- how it works and uh, how things work inside that tool uh, what is the algorithm it used so that i can work on uh, improving my resume most of the uh, things which i was lacking i, I thought i can improve that and uh, finally like uh, after few months i started getting interview calls from product based company okay uh, yeah so prankur as you mentioned about ats application tracking system can you uh, talk about uh, a bit more on it like how did you i mean make changes to your resume so that these uh, like your yes. uh, ats compliant and you started getting calls right so can hmm. you talk about it a bit more sure so the thing was that uh, i was using some resume format which was given uh, to me through my uh, in my college by my college actually during my placement so i was using that template okay. and i realized that uh, the template really matters when you are applying into these product based companies and from which particular portal you are applying 
so if i talk about career portal okay if you are applying to a career portal of any product based company they will be definitely having like most of the product based companies will be using an ats tool okay so when you uh, give your application or pass your application to uh, career portal okay your resume then what will happen is the ats tool will try to filter out all the relevant uh, resumes and rank the resumes based on the uh, what you can say which are really good for that particular job description okay it will rank those resumes and then the recruiter will show those resumes uh, which are ranked higher okay, okay. and uh, this is how it goes so basically you can say ats uh, provides a rank is provide a ranking to each and every resume and recruiter can uh, go through only those resumes which are relevant for that particular job description so it works like that but based on what uh, it decides that which particular resume is good and which is bad so it really matters that what format you are using your uh, a resume format should be really uh, simple like it should be only text there should be no charts tables uh, no fancy formatting nothing should be there if you are applying through career portals okay and mm -hmm. if you are applying through and like if you want to make a uh, resume ats compliant these are the things which you, which you should focus upon and the second thing is as i said before as well that i was using some other portals as well like nokri.com insta hire or linkedin so if you go through linkedin uh, or nokri.com or uh, insta hire in these portals uh, you can create your profile and you can put your resume there now the recruiters will come to your profile whenever they will be searching for relevant uh, uh, candidates they can reach or they can come to your profile for that you don't need your uh, res resume to be a ats compliant because ats is a software okay so ats comes into picture when you are applying through career portal okay there because through career portal lot of people are, are applying but in nokri.com or insta hire their recruiters are coming to your profile so there you don't need an ats uh, compliant resume but for if you are applying through career portal then definitely you need an ats compliant resume and these are the things which i already discussed you have to keep in mind when you are applying through career portal okay yeah yeah that's amazing i mean that's really helpful for the fresh grads who doesn't have any knowledge of ats part so it will help them so yeah thank you so much for telling us all the different platforms from where one can apply so as you have mentioned like we have different platforms insta hire linkedin nokri or even the career portal right of different company so how can someone effectively use these platforms to get multiple calls from different top notch product companies so can you talk hmm. a bit about it or give some tips on it hmm. yeah so apart from career portal if i talk about uh, nokri.com insta hire or linkedin the benefit of using this portal is that uh, the benefit of using this portal is that if, even if your resume is not ats compliant still you can get interview calls why because here you have to create a profile and after creating a profile you can put your resume there okay now Uh, the major benefit is that recruiters can reach out to your profile by searching for a relevant candidate and right. the second benefit is that if you will keep on reuploading your resume or if you are uh, an active user in these portals there is a more chance that your uh, profile will have more visitors okay and if there are more visitors in your profile it means that there is a more reach and you will be uh, visible for you will be uh, you will be in the eye of more recruiters right. okay so there is a more chance that you will, you can get interview calls from these uh, portals as well and and i am not just saying this but uh, and i am not uh, and it is a proven method why because in my uh, job hunt process i use these portals and i use these strategies uh, when i was basically trying to reupload my resume twice in a day and when i was uploading my resume twice in a day in these portals i was uh, getting more visitors or more uh, visitors i was getting more visitors into my profile and uh, if there are more visitors it means that i will be getting more interview calls as well and uh, for a snap deal i got interview call uh, through nokri yeah okay. yeah that's good i mean that's awesome so prankur like uh, i think we had a very good discussion on how we can apply and how can we improve the interview calls like how can we get multiple calls for our um, mm. we are applying for the mm. please so i uh, like the next question i would like to ask you like if you want to give uh, some tips to the fresh grads or the college uh, fresh sure. so like if they are applying for top most companies after i mean even on campus or off campus if you mm. would like to mm. give them some tips on that yeah 
so there are a uh, few things which they can keep in mind like uh, i i can tell them those mistakes which i did okay so that they don't do those mistakes the thing is i was trying to focus on the problems like the number of the i thought if i will cover more number of problems i can uh, like crack any interview but this was not the case uh, my mistake so this was my mistake so what the uh, strategy i changed so the strategy which i used the, uh, this time was that i try to focus on the approach like there are uh, the number of approaches are limited okay but the questions are unlimited so you can't cover all the questions but you can cover most of the approaches so i try to focus on the approach so that i can cover uh, the vast radius of uh, questions so my suggestion is that to focus on approach instead of focusing on the number of questions okay and the second thing which i would like to highlight is that uh, start creating notes like if you are uh, if you have learned something new today or anything uh, if you are learning then start creating notes because Uh, after uh, two months down the line, you won't be able to recollect everything, okay, which you have studied two months back. So I would suggest to keep uh, making notes so that you and keep revisiting those notes. It really helped me uh, during this phase because in my college days I was just solving problems and I was doing doing nothing else. This was my mistake. And this time, what I started doing was I started writing down everything, a new thing which is coming to my mind, or every or if, even if I. learned a new approach today i started writing it down so that down the line if i see some variation of that problem or any new problem uh, i can refer those notes which i have already created okay so creating notes and focusing on the approaches these two things really helped me in my uh, preparation phase of coding interviews thank you prankur for telling us all this thank you so much so guys if you hmm. need any help from prankur like any of your uh, help on the resume screening or one on one sessions with prankur he can help you and when you are applying for topmost product companies you can um, maybe schedule a call with prankur he can help you what all needs to be prepared for that resume screening all the stuff so you can take help from him and yeah uh, the link is in the description and yeah thank you prankur thank you so much uh, for giving us time hope this video helps and we wish you all the very best for sure. your yeah thank you yeah. thanks prankur